Jojo has been going on for a long time, and the anime adaptations are pretty far away from the manga. For example, we're waiting for part 5 to be announced in the anime, and right now in the manga we're halfway or three fourths of the way through part 8. We don't know exactly where Jojo will end, but it's believed that Jojo would end after part 9 is over. Now, that wouldn't exactly be bad due to how long we have to get there and how far off that part would be anime wise. I mean, think about it. Jojolian came out in 2011, and look where we are in the manga. But that all draws to one main thing, Jojo, and I mean the main characters, bloodline, the guys with the stars on their necks, you know what I'm talking about. We have every part with a new Jojo, and then we have our antagonist. Now not all parts grow up with the character, Jonathan is the only one where it's him growing up and we're not getting flashbacks to times of where he was younger to develop his character. That's probably because not all of the Jojos had eventful childhoods like Jonathan. But there's always a group of people that either had an eventful childhood or just an eventful life not just up until the part but throughout it the antagonist i couldn't find the best way to say this so i'm just going to give it as a statement i want to see jojo but from the villain's view meaning before the encounters with jojo the interactions we get through the flashbacks the history and all in all, almost everything about the villain. Let's take Kira for example, since he was one of the ones I thought about a lot when writing this. We could have it to where we see Kira growing up and becoming aware of his tendencies. The times where he was in school and probably thought a lot about what he wanted, but then holding that back while following the whole third place act where he never stood out. Then we have it to where he finally acts on it and he attacks Remy and the other messy kills before his dad pierces him with a stand arrow. We could also see him first obtain Killer Queen and exploring Killer Queen's power. Then we see him and his kills developing and then possibly making light of all the cameos he had in DIU before he was actually introduced. We could see who exactly did he kill? Did he kill Shizuka's parents? Where was he on his way? And all the little tidbits that hadn't been made light of. Then it gets to a point of where it just connects into DIU fully and it just becomes DIU but with Kira's perspective through all of it. All of his thoughts that we didn't get to hear and all of the actions we didn't get to see him do personally. It could possibly speed through some episodes here and there, but then translate into a dead man's questions where we actually see what happened to Kira after DIU. With parts 1 and 3, we could also see so much of Dio. Dio's troublesome childhood where he had learned all of his fighting and seen the interactions that he had with his mother and his father his training and figuring out how his vampiric powers worked, then his weird type of science where he could merge humans and animals, and that's just part one. Part three Dio would also be part six Dio where we could actually see all of his interactions with all of the other evil stand users. We could see how he had built up his plans for part three and six, and possibly even get a full explanation from him about heaven, his plans for the future, and everything him and Poochie had done. I'd love to see Dio obtain the world and also see exactly how he killed all of the people that fished him out of the water and out of the coffin and all that. Then there's also how he met Enya, there's Poochie's friendship, his memories of part one, and a lot more. There's so much potential when it comes to the antagonist because none of them have lived a boring life. Every main antagonist has a story to where the development of them could be furthered so far out compared to what had been shown. Take Cars for example. Cars had a summed up past when it came to what had been shown in the manga and anime. He's a genius, he makes the stone mask, his people turn on him, and then he kills his people. The story of Cars could be like Julius Caesar, except he won versus his people and he didn't get stabbed to death and he also wasn't a leader to begin with and he actually made a revolutionary thing for the sake of his people and to further evolution with some sort of brain acupuncture. Okay, yeah, Cars and Julius Caesar, they don't really have much similarities, but it's easy to assume what I mean. You have Cars. He had have to have seen some of his people die due to sunlight and other things. He had to have had time to think about how the stone mask was going to work and possibly with some sort of explanation on how the stone mask works too because that would be great to understand. Also, I would like an explanation of his bone blade and ACDC's boiling blood and how exactly were those things obtained. Then there's the all out brawl between cars and his people. After that, you have Cars and ACDC raising Wamu and Santana, going across the land, tormenting some people here and there. You see Wamu develop his nobility as a man or, well, a pillar man. Then there's the original Hamon users versus the pillar men, and all of it just ending off with them resting at the same place where they were found at. Then the last thing you see is people setting up lights and to keep them there, and where it ends off with Wamu opening his eyes and cuts to black with the 
little Pillar Man music playing in the back, the I, I, and you know exactly. Or it could go on into part two when we just get their side of it also. I honestly just want to see cars develop and Wamu grow up when it comes to part two of villainous Jojo. It had potential to go so far when it comes to a character's past that hasn't had much light shed on it. Imagine seeing the development of Diavolo, Valentine, Pucci, Diavolo and Valentine specifically because they have so much to offer for backstory and it would be amazing to see everything. It could get to the point of where some villains could be more developed than some of the Jojo's even if this was to be a thing. I understand that Araki has a lot to work with when it comes to Jojo and this whole wanting some sort of prequel spin-off to each part or I guess prologue or prelude what would be the word for it. That would all just be a shot from space, but it possibly doesn't even have to just be a Rocky. It could possibly be where it's a specific studio he trusts to works on it while he's supervising and fact checking all of the things that would happen and should happen when making it. Or it could even skip from being a manga to anime adaptation and just jump straight to being an anime. Possibly after Jojo is over in the manga after part 9, but when that comes that will probably be around say 2030. I don't know man. This should really be a thing. It, it gets to the point of where I don't even care if it's a fan-made manga. I just want it to be very well made. I've seen some really well fan-made manga so it wouldn't be that far of a long shot but tell me what you guys think in the comments. Jojo being finished as a whole would be around I'd say again 2030 but the anime would still for sure be going on if that's the case. So what do you guys think? Would you guys just be fine with Jojo circulating around Jojo or a villain's perspective would interest you. You can think about it like a better in canon Gotham, the show that was made basically before Batman that develops all of these villains and all. It's a really well made show and I, I really wish that it was fully canon, but unfortunately not. Thank you guys for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to stay updated and supporting me to make more of these videos. I'm going to be leaving two polls in the, there's going to be one in the top right corner and one in the comments. Uh, it's going to be pinned probably, it's going to be a straw poll. Uh, just just make a choice on which one, just uh, you guys don't, uh, you guys don't have to know exactly what it what it means. I just want you guys to pick your your favorite out of all the options. This is not it's possibly something for the future. Possibly. I, I'm very interested to do so. But thank you guys again. Until the next one, peace out and Godspeed.